Connor, let me swing this bench around a little bit and we can sit side by side and then uh, you can take it back. Do you know anything about leap year? Leap year, yeah, it's... Um, is it a long year or a short year? It's the year you take a big jump. No, no, it's, not, it's, 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 it's an extra day, isn't it? I wait, I you dummies. Know. You let me sit there and say there was the last day of February and there's one more tomorrow. The 29th. We don't usually have a 29th. It says absolutely nothing to do with anything, except that I realize I suddenly made a big deal out of nothing. How are you? I'm fine, really fine. Do I notice a little classical background in your music? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I got, uh, got involved with classical music and uh, got out of it as quick as I got involved. I want to get into that in a second. I got three nice guys over there whose, whose friends, relatives, mothers, fathers are sitting far away and saying, well, whatever happened to Charlie? Uh, who's behind the drums over there? Well, that's my good brother, uh, Tommy Kane from uh, Chicago, Illinois. Tom, nice to have you with us. On bass, who do we have? Uh, that's Gary Richwine. Hello, Gary. He's from Columbus, Ohio. Oh, garden spot of the earth. <laughs> know it well. Man on the end. As my good buddy, uh, Jimmy Arnold from Hillside, Illinois. Uh, now, tell me, if you will, please, analyze the difference between what you do now, whatever you call this music, whatever yeah. brand you put on it, and classical music. Well, classical music, I believe, is a little... Uh, more contained. It's kind of like a relic that uh, people have kind of just stuck in a case to look at and to, uh, it's more something like a museum. It reminds me of going in a museum that never changes anything. It's always the same exact, you know, duplicate kind of a thing. And uh, that, w that was your background. Do you think any music created today will ever fall into the category of being called classical or last for several hundred years? Uh, no, I don't believe so because of the energy contained in uh, pop music and rock and roll and country and soul and whatever it is, it's, uh, it's a natural flow, it's a, it's a spontaneous energy. Uh, rock music, I think today is always kind of moving on, it never stays, we, we have new songs, we have old songs, we always love our old songs, but we're always coming out with new energy flows. Is that why you, why you moved forward into this exactly. one? Exactly, it makes me happy, it makes me, uh, uh, I can create something that uh, just has a little bit of a personality to it. Would you like to make Bob Petrovich very happy? Do you have any idea who this man is? No, I don't. He is that harried, gray-haired man over there wringing his hands doing this. That means, please do the number. Okay. Would you? I definitely. This is for you, Bob. Huh? I love it. What's yeah. it called, please? It's called Dixie and the Kid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Kane. <laughs> <laughs> 